not to second guess myself so much. You know, it's probably one of the, I, I, I don't regret much in my life, but I look back and my father was hard on me. You know, he, he nothing was ever good enough. And uh, some of his toughness made me tougher, but some of his toughness weakened me, especially at some of my more vulnerable points in life. So, especially as a 13, 14 year old kid, you're going through so much internally and you know, you got so much going on that's new inside you um, that some of those tough lessons that he thought were just strengthening me sometimes made me second guess who I was. You know, well, my muscles aren't big enough. My dad told me that I was weak. I'm not, I'm, I, I'm not throwing the baseball hard enough because my dad told me it was weak. You know, uh, I need to be able to kick higher. There's, I, I recently told a father about that experience because he was very similar to what my father was showing me, uh, or to, you know, uh, treating me. And it was that hard love. And some dads, especially men, feel like that's the way to go. But you have, it's a fine line. You can be tough with your son or your daughter, but you have to make sure that they see the soft side as well. And they have to say, you know, there's a way to encourage a child, uh, especially of those, those vulnerable years, by making them feel, hey, you really made me proud today. I watched you at karate. Don't drop your kids off at karate every day. You sit there, don't get on your darn phone either. Sit there and watch them and make sure they see you watching them. And then after they get off the mats, you go and give them a hug and tell them, man, that was amazing. Even if it wasn't amazing, <laughs> say it because then they're gonna wanna be better. And a lot of kids, they, they get dropped off by their nannies. They, they get, they, 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 if their parents are there, their parents are on their computers and tablets. And those are the kids who are constantly saying, I don't wanna go to karate today. Well, why do you not wanna go to karate today? Because there's no reward there. There's no reward, meaning they're not feeling like they're making anybody proud, you know, and except for us, and we're trying our best, but we only get two hours, three hours a week with them. How about at home? How about that reward of, you did so well in karate today. What do you want for dinner tonight? That was amazing. You made me so, so proud. That's important. And so for me, you know, back when I was 14 years old, if I could change one thing, I just, I'd believe in myself more than what I did. And I, I'd, uh, I wouldn't listen to some of the criticism uh, that I unfortunately went through. So. Thank you for watching A Wise Way. Subscribe to stay updated, share to pass the knowledge, or view our other videos on the left.